if Jean Harris had never taken the stand, she never would have gone to prison. Unfortunately, she had a bit of a temper and a little arrogant. And I sat there that day and I said to my girlfriend, she just did herself in. She just did herself in. She was still the headmistress. She spoke perfectly. Uh, I'm sure that if I made a mistake with my grammar, she would have corrected me. A great many people blamed her lawyer, Joel Arnau, for her disastrous testimony. But her son told me something I hadn't heard before about how his mother ended up on the stand. Where was her lawyer? Why, why didn't the lawyer brief her? Mother's lawyer was a very sweet man, but he definitely was underpowered. And he was unable throughout the whole process to tell mother what to do. Gene, be quiet. You can't be angry. You can't. He, he just didn't have the strength to tell her. Please, no questions. Please. And I think worse of all, I think people characterized her as being blasé. Now, when you're on trial for your life, the last thing a jury wants to see is somebody who acts like they don't care what you think. She was not a sympathetic no. witness. No. Yeah. Mother was never really a sympathetic character. She's a pretty tough cookie. And uh, she was used to being in charge. And she expected that when she got on the stand. She expected that people would listen to her. So she turned people against her. Absolutely. There was nearly universal agreement that Jean had hurt herself badly on the stand. She had appeared cold and unfeeling. The one person who didn't agree with that assessment was Jean. It is a part of the interview that we've never aired before. I wasn't ice cold on that stand. I was very warm on that stand. Barbara, there was nothing to cry yeah, about. The media, that, that, the media that trial, presented a picture. And that I don't trial was like picture. being pushed into a cesspool. You don't cry when somebody pushes you into a cesspool. You, you're, you're appalled by how ugly and awful it is. That, the, the, the tragedy of High's death was nowhere in that room. When you were on the stand, it was always that kind of mask. You, it, it's as if you don't want people to know when you're in pain. No, it isn't a matter of not wanting them to know what I'm like. It's, it's a matter of, for one thing, not wanting pity, which I think is a very cheap commodity. And also, it was very important to me at the trial for people to believe the facts and not to end up just feeling sorry for somebody. You know, during that trial... Take those off when you... I need them. them. 